All right, guys. This is obviously the OEM. See that? I should have went and bought an OEM one. So you can see the Honda on there. The Honda, I mean. Right there. So this is the original one. This is one we got from AutoZone. Or Advanced Auto, right? Auto. AutoZone. So this is probably... Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I've never seen that before. It's the first time I ever bought anything that was made in Israel. I guess we'll see if it's better in China. I don't know. There's an old saying about that, but I, I don't want to say that because I'll be accused of be called something else. But anyway, fucking... Here it is. About the same design. Um, as you can hear... We got perfectly air. Let's see if I can get a piece of paper. Right here is our new filter. Hang on. Okay. This right here is our new filter, and obviously this is the out. So this is your feed. So you want to blow this way out, and you can see the paper move. Obviously, brand new filter. It should, right? Now, I don't know what kind of stuff this is made of because I know the OEM is always better, and I should have bought one. I'm gonna actually because I. I need to clean this tank out. I'll explain that to you in a minute after we show this. So this one probably won't last very much longer. But anyway, this is an OEM one. As you can see right there, it has the Honda symbol written on it. Now remember, you can blow this way through it. Not very good though. It's not bending it like the other way. But that's blowing backwards. This is the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, you think that might have been the reason why the car's lean cutting? I think so. I believe so. <laughs> might need fuel to make something work. That's burning the fucking pump up, guys. So hopefully we didn't damage the pump. But anyway, we figured that out. Well, I mean, I kind of knew that's what it was. And I'll show you guys how to take it out real quick. Oh, the reason, the culprit for this, okay, is there's a see right here you can barely see the hoses but you go underneath here and it's tucked right in here in the pain in the dick spot where you got to take all these bolts out here both fucking sides and i might be yeah i can't get it. i don't feel like crawling underneath here but the lip underneath here is too far so you got to pull it out but there's a canister in here and that's your um emissions canister can't even think of the actual name of it at the time um something resin canister or i can't think of the name of it it doesn't matter evap canister i think or some bull crap but anyway guys the fucking thing has charcoal filter in it like your fish tank would have in it and your fumes go through that yada 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 you know don't make all that stinky smell like the cars in the 70s did so to speak but with that carbon fiber starts to break down I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but when I blow through this dirty bastard as hard as I can here. Okay, look at that. See how black that is? That's the residue of all that black beads. And that's what's plugging this up. So, in order to get rid of that, we just got to take it off of there. And yes, you can buy a new one, but I'm not buying a fucking new one. I'm taking it out. We're going to dump all them beads out of there. Expose of them. And we won't have this problem anymore. And the way you know this problem starts is when you go to fill your car. This is any car. You go to fill it and it keeps shutting the gas pump off. And you know you ain't, you know, you're, you're dead empty. But it keeps shutting it off. And the reason that is, is because your canister, your charcoal canister is fucked up. And it won't let all the fuel go in there like it should. So when that happens, you get a fuel filter that looks like that and does that shit. What make, well, sometimes will make you think it's the pump and it's not. But to do this, you just have these push clips. You push down on this. This is the way it goes in forwards. You push down on that, you push down on that, and it goes right in, simple. It's a real simple prog process here. To get you guys, probably have to take it to the other side of the car. All right, excuse me, me and wife went to go clean it yesterday, and then they were talking about 
fall that's gonna rain and all that shit and well you know it rained i don't know how this leaf is getting in here this grass is getting in here i mean you guys probably do know underneath here where your tank is or your car you can see the ground so it could be rodents to anything but anyway the best way to get this is you want to put your back one on first which is back in here kind of a bitch to get in there it's kind of a bitch to get in here because we really don't have much room and it won't I think another way you could do it is you do it like this guys you take it off your fuel pump like that it's the proper way to do this now we put this up make sure your uh, ground is up oh my this thing's got a lot of blackness in it let me go clean this hose out actually and i'll be back okay. all right this is the way it is watch you do not mess this plastic up this is the junkest fucking lines i don't know why honda did this more for making in the rds you hear that clicked on they went from in the RDs and making all hard steel lines to this plastic junk. Um, I, I have never even opened up my GK, so I can't even tell you what it looks like. I mean, I think we all know around here I'm not the biggest GK fan. They're heavier than hell. You know, to me, that's the big killer. You got a car just heavier than hell, and they make another one that's so much lighter and my opinion better okay we gotta get this thing back in between these two lines so we can put this one back where it belongs which is right there now we can try to push it through as you guys can see I think that just locked on mm -hmm. right yeah I hate these things guys I do they're not, like I said, they're, this was a shitty design by them. I know a lot of people like this little stupid shit like this. But it might make it easier for someone that, you know, they ain't big into mechanics. You know, they got a lot of tools. But when you're in somebody that's trying to make horsepower on one of these, this is the reason why we still haven't made horsepower on this. Look at these lines, the way this crap goes. You see all this plastic shit, guys? All this plastic shit is the reason why I don't do it. This is what it needs. It needs something like this. I'm thinking that I can probably go with GK. And the GK will probably fit in this. And use a GK return style pump in this son of a bitch. And then we'll run our own 6AN fittings from the front back to the back. Now, that's what's nice about these kind is you can get 6ANs that will lock just like this. Just push right on and lock. That's, that's pretty nice. But there it is. It shouldn't leak. I hope it don't leak. Sound like it locked. Wife said it locked. I think it locked. Everything looks good. I'm pretty sure it locked. So, all you do is put your... Yeah. Don't put your cover on. We got keys in here? No, we don't. But anyway, with your keys on, you just cycle it a couple times. See if you got any leaks. You don't have any leaks. You just put this back on and you put your back seat in. And call it a fucking day. And guys, I will be making a video on what has been happening around here recently um put it this way there's it's not none of it's good news so uh get ready to be braced for a bunch of shit news and we'll do our best this year with what we can do and uh i'll show you what's going on and if you can like and subscribe and share the video we're almost at a thousand maybe we can make a couple bucks off this youtube peace out guys have a good one